Hey, it's Mike Neck, the New York City Diamond District, showing you that ring again. Currently my favorite ring. 13 carat oval, 13.65 carat oval, with another 3 carat plus on the sides. 13.35 carat in the center, and then 3.60 carats with the diamonds on the side, excuse me. Anyway, super colorless diamond, that's for sure. It's enormous. Oh, it's so awesome. Mm. This is a winner. This thing is a champion for sure. Okay, let's just talk about how rare a diamond, now how hard it would be to find a diamond this humongous, okay? It end up being cut to a 13.3, 13.35. So the rough diamond had to be larger. Let's just say 19, 20 carats, right? And now let me just tell you a proven fact and statistic. It takes, to get a one carat diamond of a quality similar to this, we need to move 500 tons of ground from the mine to find the one. We gotta go through 500 tons of, of earth to find the one carat and this thing here is 13 and change okay let's just think about what is what is 500 tons of ground of earth okay picture your your a regular size new york city uh garbage truck probably can move about a ton a one ton a one ton truck okay now you need to fill up 500 of those to find a one carat a one carat is six and a half millimeters in diameter this thing right here is enormous it's third it's almost 14 carats so th there you get an idea of the you get an idea of how hard it is to find something like this whoever found this in the mine was just like he had to pinch himself to make sure he wasn't dreaming it's the equivalent of of winning a lottery Okay, it's, it's just like getting struck by lightning. It happens, and uh, when it does, people get excited. They produce the biggest, brightest possible finished product out of that rough, which is what we got here. And on top of everything, on top of all that, it ended up getting a colorless grade, which means the material itself is a freak of nature as it is, because most diamonds mined out of the earth don't come out colorless. They have a tint of yellow. This thing is absolutely colorless. What that means is when all the girls are comparing rocks and diamonds, this will make anything else you compare it up against look yellow. Okay? So they could spend a whole bunch of money, but if they com they're coming at you with an H color, this D color will make an H color look yellow. I love this diamond. And I love this ring. All right, folks, that's Mike Necton in the New York City Diamond District just talking to you about one of my favorite rings. If you have any questions, you can give me a call. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.